Audio version of the blog post, Capturing Data Analytics Workflows and System Requirements, by Gary Stafford, Senior Solutions Architect, Amazon Web Services. According to Tech Target, data analytics applications involve more than just analyzing data, particularly on advanced analytics projects. Much of the required work takes place up front, in collecting, integrating, and preparing data and then developing, testing, and revising analytical models to ensure that they produce accurate results. In addition to data scientists and other data analysts, analytics teams often include data engineers, who create data pipelines and help prepare data sets for analysis. Introduction Successful consultants, project managers, and product owners use well-proven and systematic approaches to achieve desired outcomes, including successful customer engagements, project results, and product and service launches. Modern data stacks and analytics workflows are increasingly complex. This technology agnostic discovery process aims to help an organization efficiently and repeatedly capture a concise record of existing analytics workflows, business and technical goals and constraints, and measures of success. If applicable, the discovery process is used to compile and clarify requirements for new data analytics workflows. Analytics Workflow Stages There are many patterns organizations use to delineate the stages of their analytics workflows. This process utilizes six stages of a typical analytics workflow. 1. Generate. All the ways data is generated in the systems of record where it is stored or originates from, also referred to as data ingress. 2. Collect. All the ways data is collected. 3. Prepare. All the ways data is transformed, including ETL, ELT, reverse ETL, and ML. 4. Store. All the ways data is stored, organized, and secured for analytics purposes. 5. Analyze. All the ways data is analyzed. 6. Deliver. All the ways data is delivered and how it is consumed, also referred to as data egress or data products. The precise nomenclature is not critical to this process as long as all major functionality is considered. The process. The discovery process starts by working backward. It first identifies existing goals and desired outcomes. It then identifies existing and anticipated future constraints. Next, it breaks down the current analytics workflows, examining the four stages of collect, prepare, store, and analyze, the steps required to get from data sources to deliverables. Finally, it captures the inputs and the outputs for the workflows and the data producers and consumers. Specifically, the process identifies and documents the following. 1. Business and technical goals and desired outcomes. 2. Business and technical constraints also referred to as limitations or restrictions. 3. Analytics workflows, tools, techniques, procedures, and organizational structure. 4. Outputs also referred to as deliverables, required to achieve desired outcomes. 5. Inputs also referred to as data sources, required to achieve desired outcomes. 6. Data producers and consumers. 7. Measures of success. 8. Recommended next steps. Outcomes. Capture business and technical goals and desired outcomes driving the necessity to re-architect current analytics processes. For example, 1. Re-architect analytics processes to modernize, reduce complexity, or add new capabilities. 2. Reduce or control costs. 3. Increase performance, such as scalability or speed. 4. Migrate on-premise processes to the cloud. 5. Migrate from one cloud provider or SaaS provider to another. 6. Move away from proprietary software products to open-source software, OSS, or commercial open-source software, COSS7. Migrate away from custom-built software to commercial off-the-shelf, COTS, OSS, or cost solutions. 8. Integrate DevOps, GitOps, DataOps, or MLOps practices. 9. Integrate on-premises, multi-cloud, and SaaS-based hybrid architectures. 10. Develop new analytics product or service offerings. 11. Standardize analytics processes. 12. Leverage the data for AI-slash-ML purposes. 13. Provide key stakeholders with a real-time business KPIs dashboard. 14. Construct a data lake, data warehouse, data lake house, or data mesh. If migration is involved, review the six R's of cloud migration, rehost, replatform, repurchase, refactor, retain, or retire. Constraints. 
Identify the existing and potential future business and technical constraints that impact analytics workflows. For example, 1. Budgets. 2. Cost attribution. 3. Timelines. 4. Access to skilled resources. 5. Internal and external regulatory requirements, such as HIPAA, SOAP 2, FedRAMP, GDPR, PCI DSS, CCPA, and FISMA. 6. Architecture Review Board, ARB, Center of Excellence, Co., Change Advisory Board, CAB, and Release Management Standards and Guidelines. 7. Data Governance and Data Lineage. 8. Security. 9. Service Level Agreements, SLAs 10. Existing Vendor, Partner, Cloud Provider, and SaaS Relationships. 11. Existing Licensing and Contractual Obligations. 12. Must keep aspects of existing processes. 13. Build versus buy propensity. 14. Proprietary versus open source software propensity. 15. Insourcing versus outsourcing propensity. 16. SaaS versus self-managed software propensity. Analytics workflows. Capture analytics workflows using the four stages of collect, prepare, store, and analyze as a way to organize the discussion. 1. High and low-level architecture, process flow diagrams, sequence diagrams. 2. Recent architectural assessments such as AWS well-architected reviews. 3. Analytics tools, including hardware and commercial, custom, and open-source software. 4. Security policies, processes, standards, and technologies. 5. Observability, logging, monitoring, alerting, and notification. 6. Teams, including roles, responsibilities, and skill sets. 7. Partners, including consultants, vendors, SaaS providers, and managed service providers, MSP8. SDLC environments, such as local, sandbox, development, testing, staging, production, and disaster recovery, DR9. Business continuity planning, BCP, policies, processes, standards, and technologies. 10. Primary Analytics Programming Languages 11. External System Dependencies 12. Data Ops, ML Ops, DevOps, and Infrastructure as Code, IAC, Automation Policies, Processes, Standards, and Technologies 13. Data Quality, or Data Assurance, Policies, Processes, Standards, Technologies, and Testing Methodologies 14. Data Anomaly Detection Policies, Processes, Standards, and Technologies. 15. Intellectual Property, IP, the secret sauce that differentiates the organization's processes and provides a competitive advantage, such as ML models, proprietary algorithms, datasets, highly specialized knowledge, and patents. 16. Overall Effectiveness and Customer Satisfaction with Existing Analytics Processes, Document Sources of Customer Feedback 17. Known deficiencies with current analytics processes. Outputs. Identify the deliverables required to meet the desired outcomes. For example, prepare and provide data for. 1. Data analytics purposes. 2. Business intelligence, BI, visualizations, and dashboards. 3. Machine learning, ML, and artificial intelligence, AI4. Data exports and data feeds, such as Excel or CSV format files. 5. Hosted datasets for external or internal consumption. 6. Data APIs for external or internal consumption. 7. Documentation, API guides, data dictionaries, example codes such as notebooks. 8. SaaS-based product offering. Inputs. Capture sources of data that are required to produce the outputs. For example. 1. Batch sources such as flat files from legacy systems, third-party providers, and enterprise platforms. 2. Streaming sources such as message queues, change data capture, CDC, IoT device telemetry, operational metrics, logs, clickstream data, connected devices, mobile, and gaming feeds. 3. Databases, including relational, NoSQL, key value, document, in-memory, graph, time series, and wide column, OLTP data stores 4. Data warehouses, OLAP data stores 5. Data lakes. 
6. API endpoints. 7. Internal, public, and licensed datasets. Use the five Vs of big data to dive deep into each data source, volume, velocity, variety, veracity slash validity, and value. Data producers and consumers. Capture all producers and consumers of data. 1. Data producers. 2. Data consumers. 3. Data access patterns. 4. Data usage patterns. 5. Consumer and producer requirements and constraints. Measures of success. Identify how success is measured for the analytics workflows and by whom. For example. 1. Key performance indicators, KPIs 2. Service level agreements, SLAs 3. Customer satisfaction score, CSAT 4. Net promoter score, NPS 5. SAS growth metrics, churn, activation rate, MRR, ARR, CAC, CLV, expansion revenue, source, upqs.com 6. Data quality guarantees. 7. How are measurements determined, calculated, and weighted? 8. What are the business and technical actions resulting from missed measures of success? Results. The immediate artifact of the data analytics discovery process is a clear and concise document that captures all feedback and inputs. In addition, the document contains all customer-supplied artifacts, such as architectural and process flow diagrams. The document should be thoroughly reviewed for accuracy and completeness by the process participants. This artifact serves as a record of current data analytics workflows and a basis for making workflow improvement recommendations or architecting new workflows. This blog represents my own viewpoints and not of my employer, Amazon Web Services, AWS. All product names, logos, and brands are the property of their respective owners.